Not Bruntley. Slayer of all wildlife. You thought that job was bad for killing all the cliff races. We've killed just about everything else. So I've liquidated our many assets that we had stored in the cupboard in the house in play gen i bought them all to the mug crab merchant sold them off rested a lot as you can tell by the amount of corpses there are from our rest being interrupted i think cliff racer might still be alive oh was that the mud crab sorry my bad um we are now up to 163 thousand dollar reduce unfortunately it doesn't buy rings or anything so i'll have to take those elsewhere um i don't exactly know what we're gonna do with 163 thousand dollar reduce but there we are Based on your feedback yesterday, there was something fairly major I missed during our pilgrimage uh, for the for the temple. And we are going to carry on with the temple quest like I've talked about before. So that we can get access to the Master Conjuration Trainer. And then so that we can hopefully summon the Golden Saint. And then obviously enchant as much of our gear as possible. Someone also said that Skull Trap stacks, which is pretty fantastic. Which means we can use Azura Star and get a load of uh, Grand Soul Gems going as well. We could sell those off for cash, assuming we needed any more cash than we really do at this point, do we? Um, so that is going to be the goal, is to go and tidy up some some loose ends that I accidentally left in uh, Genesis, specifically. So we'll be heading back there to go and rediddle the Ash Mask. Uh, someone left a comment, and you guys know that I love loot, and I, I love heists. Somebody said that in... The cantons around Vivec, uh, in the faction-specific cantons around Vivec, are vaults. With a lock level of 100, we can now, or should I should say with an unlocking spell of 100, we can now get access to those cantons. They have to be in the faction-specific cantons, though. So the Telvani, we got the Red Aran one there. So we should really go in and loot the place. And that's what I want to start with today and see if we can find ourselves some, uh, some cool, unique stuff kicking around in the Red Around Canton. I don't really know where to look for it, though, I'll be frank. Um, Move along. What do we got in here? Red Around Records. Red Around Temple Shrine. I assume it would just say, like, Red Around Vaults, perhaps? Canal Works? Maybe I have to go down to the... There's obviously a bottom layer to each canton that's quite difficult to access, isn't there? Um, canal Works. Okay, this could be it. We went to the Telvani. I, I don't know if they were the Telvani Vaults, but we definitely broke into somewhere Telvani a few episodes back. Ancestral Vaults. Oh, I guess this is it. Okay, sweet. I assume this is it anyway. Um, and I imagine we can also rest here, given that there are creatures. There are enemies nearby. Okay, we might actually be able to rest here as well. Let's see what we can find. I've been told there's some good gear down here, so we'll, we'll take a look around and see what we can dig up. Um, whoa. Hey, can that thing actually give us Corpus? Because that's a Corpus zombie, right? Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> we keep a creature that carries a deadly destructive disease down as the guardian of our ancestors' graves. How appropriate. I assume it's just a... Uh, I assume it just does damage without the corpus, but I'm not going to take any risks with that one. Weird. Okay. Um, what's, what have we got in here, then? Yeah, lot level 25. We'll have to... Somebody even said I should make a spell that is, uh, like, intensity 50, because we're unlocking a lot of chests, and it's using up a lot of magicka that... Realistically, we could be saving. Like, right now, we can't get in the store because we don't have enough magicka. Uh, apparently, there are also enemies. Now, but what if we run all the way over here? No, that's a shame. Um, so, I'm now, now going to have to chug a potion and then waste all that magicka opening a door that could be opened at, like, a fifth of the level. So, it's a little bit of a waste. So, we will probably do something like that next time we are near a... There we are. Next time we're near a spell maker. Um, I'm looking for, a, like, a lot level 100 chest here, but I don't know if I'm in the right place, to be honest with you. These are like the ancestral vaults. It might not be like their main vaults, I guess. Okay, let's be careful. I can't imagine they'll do that much damage. What have we got then? A lot of level 30. Yeah, I feel like I'm in the wrong place for this. Oh, and resting here is illegal anyway. Okay, before I get too carried away then, let's go up to the Telvani Canton. And let's... Actually, no, let's go to the Foreign Quarter Canton. And let's see if we can find someone who can make us a better what spell it, for... For unlocking things with a little less intensity. Oh, it's actually at the top level. Right, Red Around Treasury. This is what we're after, not the vaults. Um, in here, Red Around Prison Ooh, Cells. Let's hear it. Uh, we've got Red Around Vaults. Here we go. Oh, God, I feel like this is a horrible idea. Go on. Uh, business. how the fuck are we supposed to get in there? <laughs> I'm sorry, but how are we supposed to get in there? Okay, Outlander, but make it quick. Uh... Hello, friend. Can I get into your vaults, please? Uh, vault, vaults, vaults. There's no way in hell we can get in there, right? Lot level 90, trapped. 
If I pick that, this ordinator is immediately going to kill me dead. Okay. And what about this one? Settle lot level 90. Okay. Now, I feel like that's not going to happen. I'm sorry to say. Unless there's a trick to it. We'll forget about that for the time being. As tempting as it is, this place is swarming with guards. I mean, it's swarming with guards. And, and unfortunately, our chameleon, our sneak scale is garbage. So when, there's no way in hell we're going to be able to pull that off. Um, we'll see if the other cantons have... Which canton is this? Uh, let's go back to the world map. What have we got here? Hlalu. We could see if they've got maybe a less defended vault, perhaps. So I have had a look around in these vaults, and they seem very impossible to crack. I don't know if there's a particular trick to it or whether we need a particular spell, but I will leave that for the time being, because I think that what I'm going to do is just end up making Vivexity off limits to us. I think I'm probably just going to end up screwing things over and... <laughs> And get the guards on us constantly. So our first trip is back to Nisus. Uh, sorry, Gunesis. To get uh, the, the, the Ash Mask. We need another potion of Cure Blight, though, I believe. Because I imagine... Oh, well, I'm going to get one anyway, just in case. Because I imagine after we finish the quest, it will probably reset everything. So let's go back to... What's our recall right now? Is that back to the house in Pelagiad? Oh, I would love to be able to tell you, but I can't right now. Um, if that's back to Sadrath Mora, that would be kind of ideal. Because then we can... Basically, just go from there to the alchemist straight away. It's a cure potion. Uh, sorry, not... Uh, sorry, cure poison potion. Or cure disease potion, not cure blight. What does this take us? Oh. Hang on. Back to... Nisus. Um, am I wrong? This is Genesis, right? Oh, shit. Well, that was convenient. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we don't have the potion, but I guess that's good to know for... Yeah, there we go. Why don't we just double-check then, see if the shrine is still accessible. Um, so it's in the temple. If we go through here, and then up, up the stairs. And then the pillar opens up to have a shrine... Like, like the mask in it. Yeah, it does seem like it's sealed. Apparently, if we touch... Yeah, we can touch the masks without pissing off the guard. That's what confused me last time. We've got a mask there. It's got a value to it. It says it's stealing the guards right there. I was a little bit apprehensive. Um, right, so we need to get a cure disease potion then. Potion of cure poison? I don't think that'll do it, but I'll buy one from you anyway. Thank you very much. Just in case, you never know. I mean, this is just the basement in Genesis as well, so that would save us a little bit of fucking around. Um, let's just go back to someone else in here as well. You don't sell anything. Let's gonna have a look around, just see if there's someone else who sells. Ah, here we go. Uh, cure... Cure blight disease. Cure common disease. That's what we want, I think. Thank you very much. Okay. There we are. That might have saved us a lot of time and effort. So when we've got this, this gives us the ability to cure blight on people, which are apparently useful in quests, without needing... Uh, There it is. Nice. And that's apparently given us a spell now called, like, Vivex something something. Um, Vivex touch, cure blight, and cure common disease. There we go. So that will allow us to cure quest NPCs that need that in a very simple way. So, for example, that's quest that we did for the temple, we could have just hit them with that instead of using the potion on them. That's fantastic. I can't believe I missed that last time. I mean, I, I would have probably said, okay, I don't want to try and steal that, because obviously it'll piss off the guards or, or something like that. Um, right, so, temple missions then. I guess we can do temple missions anyway. We need to be a certain rank, right, before the guy will Is speak to us. So, have you got any jobs for me, my friend? That would be ideal. None here. Where were we doing temple quests before? When you can ride. Was it was it Aldrun? I think it was Aldrun. Oh, God, that's right. Look at the texture on the back of his head. Oh, dirty, lumpy scalp. Uh, where are we going here? So I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure it was a temple in our room anyway. We can see doing quests for just one temple. Then we can kind of set up a base. That way, if we want to drop anything on the floor, we can can just kind of easily get that in the future. Which have these fucking cliff races. Oh, this is not where I expected. What the hell's going on here, my friend? Oh, God, the lights. I don't know if that's coming across in the video, but the lights are fucked up in here. More vain manner. Weird. Not the place I wanted to go. I think I wanted to come over here. Yeah, this was it. Um, chastise the false incarnate. In Suran, claims to be the Nerevarine. How do we get to Suran again? Um, get that by going east from Pelagia around the north side of the Dren Plantation, following the roads into... I don't remember where Suran is. So you can take this... Or you can take a Silt Strider. Oh, Soran's on with the corner club, isn't it? Of course. Oh, no. Oh, no. There it goes. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Somebody said that if we get acrobatics to 120, that that won't be such a big deal in the future. Uh, so, you know, we're already doing pretty well in, in acrobatics as far as I recall. But I might have been bouncing around. Yeah, we're level 60. So it's already knocked off a lot of the 4 damage, evidently, because we just went 
<laughs> about 300 foot in the air then. Uh, take me to Balmora, and then we go from Balmora back to Saran. Why are you all the way down here? Very inconvenient. So we're looking for the false incarnate. Um, Evil, Elvil Vidron in Suran. Uh, do we know where he is? Elvil Vidron, we don't. Okay, let's just go and have a look around then. If I was an incarnate, I would absolutely... Oh, there he is. Hello. Um, Red Mountain spreads ash and blight. Sinners gather at the house. The time of the incarnate is at hand. I think you're a liar. False incarnate. You disbelieve. I know my destiny. It'll be a hard time proving it otherwise. I've seen the message in the dream. Have you not already experienced the waking dream? We have, have we not? That was at the start of the game? Yes, but you are not the one I envisioned. Who then, if not myself? I must. There must be meaning to these dreams. Perhaps you're right. Your words have guided me. I will seek penance for my sins. Forgive me and thank you. Oh, is it that easy? Well, call me Temple Master. Okay. What a... This is all a ploy. This is the temple uh, working in... In some grand conspiracy Why, with the Silt Striders. Just to get idiots to ride them around everywhere and, and drive up prices and bring in a load of money. Okay. Oh, the reason we're going a lot further is because I emptied the... Emptied our inventory into that mud crab. Um, you would think that the 160,000 gold that we're carrying would weigh us down a little bit, huh? Right, here we are, back to the temple. I should probably add a recall. I was going to say, maybe I should add a recall here, but it's probably harder to get to the other guy in, in Genesis, isn't it? Yes, I have. Elvo Vidron will do penance for his errors, but I'm glad you did not kill him. Please accept these potions of healing and reward for your wisdom in this manner. You ready for additional duties? I am. To demonstrate your faith, you must make the pilgrimage to Margarn. Um, read the inscription on the rock and imitate Vivek's actions. Where is Margarn? I, I recognize the name, but I don't remember. Oh, directly north. Ah, well, that shouldn't take us too long to get there, then. If you'll excuse me, I have journeys to attend to. God. <laughs> oh, wow, we actually bounced off the rock there. Oh, hello. Um, we probably should rest before we press on as well. Look at these fucking silt striders. Oh, my God. Sorry, kill these cliff racers, not silt striders. Can you kill silt striders? I can't see how I've ever tried it. It just seems unnecessarily cruel and inconveniencing. Margon, was that the... Margon? Oh no, it's around the other side. Shit, I'm going completely the wrong way. Follow the ghost gate round. I don't remember what brought us here last time. But evidently we've come this way before. Get out of here. Come on. Let's be honest. You guys are a little little low power now. Okay, what's down there? Big old big old lizard. I always thought there might be a secret under there, given that it's a I mean it's a fairly lackluster bridge, isn't it? Can we go through the I didn't think we could. Wouldn't make much sense if you go through the ghost sense. Oh, apparently cliff races can, though. Oh, nice one, Vivek, you shit. Okay. Luckily, we have just the solution to this. <laughs> we could probably jump. I was going to say, we could probably just jump the ghost fence, couldn't we? There we go. Oh, just got to be careful of these fellas, aren't, haven't we, while we're in here? Although, hang on. We could craft, surely, a cure blight disease on self now that we've got Vivek's touch, correct? So we wouldn't probably don't even have to worry about these fellas either. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 get out of here. God, I'm having trouble hitting this guy. Total resisted magic, but he's dead. Why is the... Why is the wind got more intense, even though we've come further down the mountain? It doesn't really make much sense, does it? Okay. Let's take this, let's take this a bit slower, because these guys... I don't think are any tougher, but I definitely don't want to get hit by them in case we can't cure Blight in a hurry. There we are. Good shit. You're welcome. We're like the true Nereverine. What is that? Is that an Ash Vampire? Um, ow, it fucking hurts. Whatever it is. Ah, you prick. What is this guy? I can't hit him. I think that's the problem with this area. Is these enemies are, are quite tricky. That's another Ash Slave. Yeah, we've seen those before, haven't we? Right. Weird. I don't remember anything about Morrowind when you're over the ghost fence. So this is like... To be honest, I don't really... I, I said something that was a little bit confusing. I've said... For those of you who've, who've kept track, I've said both that I've played Morrowind first and I played Oblivion first. I played Morrowind first, but as a kid, I wasn't invested in it and had no idea really what I was doing in it. Um, just kind of messed around in Morrowind, really. And just got to... Shit. And just got to kind of mess around in the world and collect armor and shit. I didn't care about the story at all. And then after that, I played Oblivion, like, all the way through completely. But I've never done a full playthrough of Morrowind. Um, obviously, I know how it ends and everything, but I've never done one where we use the different... Or we go through the different, uh... The different factions and things like that. But I'm very, very excited to go back to Oblivion now with Morrowind 
properly under my belt this time. And, and sort of see what is left over from that. Because I can kind of gauge Skyrim to... Skyrim to Morrowind, obviously. But not... Or, and even Skyrim to Oblivion, but not Morrowind to Oblivion. I think it'd be really interesting, especially like the Spellmaker things. Those were still in Oblivion, but those were definitely not in Skyrim. I didn't really remember much about Morrowind Spellmaking up until this point. Oh, I can't bother to fight these guys. That's so difficult for us to hit. Leap! Oh no! We might be trapped. Okay, hang on. We're gonna have to kill all these guys now before I can rest. This is a little bit dangerous. You can actually hit us with a lightning ball then. Did a load of damage. Hang on. Alright. Be, 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 be more careful. Again, I have no idea if NPCs in this game have a limited mana bar. I'm specifically not walking around too fast either so that we actually have a hot chance to hit them. Ash salt. Didn't even drop anything good. These guys definitely hit a lot harder than some of the other things we've seen. This is the closest we've been to death for a very, very long time there. Oh, well, I mean, besides my incompetence, but that's not... Don't think that really counts, huh? Right, you, you actually dead? Corpus Stalker? Corpus Weeping is my favorite. Right, let's try this again. We should be able to just do a little bit of a hop over here, right? And, oh, okay, thank you. Hopefully we can rest here now. And, yeet! And that, to me, looks like Margan. I remember why we came here. It was for that weird quest where we had to go into the... I think we're going to die. Go into that house. Um... Yeah, like I said, I mean, as close as we've been to that outside of my incompetence. Oh, for fuck's sake. The jumps are legit. As long as we hit the side of a mountain, we're, we're not in any danger. Uh, what we are in danger of is the 50 cliff races circling overhead. <laughs> oh, God, Todd Howard, help me. I haven't got enough magicka to cast any jumps anymore, either. This is horrible. This is, this is just the worst. Oh, there was a silt strider here all along. What a fun journey that was. <laughs> um... Do you want to go to the temple shrine in Margan and ask them what I must do? Okay, temple? Uh, shrine, here we are. What must I do? Hello. Um, Margan. What do I say? Outwitted the bad Daedra, <laughs> in your opinion, uh, Lord Marion's Dagon. Okay, what do I... Magic Rock of Margan. Okay. Hello. Blessings of the temple. Sure. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, what do I do now, though? Um, uh, let's take a look here. Min I have no idea what we ask him about. Temple? Tribunal temple? Vivek? Uh, is there is there anything about the bl blessings? No, we've already done the blessings, haven't we? Sure, I'll take it again. Why not? Oh, there we are. I am Anhedra. If you are a pilgrim, read the inscription on the stupid rock. Taunt the Daedra. Your threats are weak like your flesh, mortal. Continue with your insults, mortal. I will long to feast on your marrow. So we just taunt him until he throws the rock at us. Is that the point? Because Vivek taunted Marion Stegen. Oh. Oh, God. We have to fight him. Wow. It's a wonder we survived that, to be honest with you. Well, there we go. What's he got? Silver longsword? Oh, to show that Vivek gave the silver longsword to Marion Stegen. Got it. And then the Daedra Heart. Are we done now? Um, I taunted the Dramora, and he attacked me. <laughs> is that all there is? Ah, there we go. Got it. I completed the pilgrimage. Okay, cool. Hello, my friend. I've completed the pilgrimage. Thank you. Deathblow of Abaneus has been added to your inventory. Fantastic. Uh, duties? Speak with me again when you bring yourself to the temple. I have one more thing to ask of you, but you're not ready. Until then, speak with Uvu Laren at the Ghost Gate or Endrin Lethen in Vivek. I think we can just go for advancement. The novice, the initiate, the acolyte. The Adept, really? You've given me four rankings for doing two quests. You're not ready yet. Give me some more duties then. Okay, that's it. So we're now Adept in the temple. I don't know if that'll be enough to get him to... So this guy says no. I don't know if he's the Conjuration Trainer anyway, but apparently we can now go to Vivek. Best. And I'm more than happy to start taking quests in Vivek, because I think Vivek's a cool city that we haven't really added much of an excuse to visit. What about... Let's just see some of these other people, make sure we haven't missed the trainer. I'm like, going to look up who it is, actually, so that... If we happen to walk past them, we can see if we can get our training in. Um, let's go. I'm on the wiki now. Conjuration. Uh, sorry, the unofficial Outer Scrolls pages, i.e. the better wiki. Um, Morrowind Conjuration. And then the Master Trainer is... Oh, yeah. Methal Saran at the Temple in Aldrun. Right, so it, it is a guy here. Uh, it's a guy in a blue robe. I am blessed to be um, your service, Adept or higher. Hang on, we are Adept or higher. 
Oh shit, we might be able to do it. We might be able to actually get a golden seducer today. I wasn't expecting... Sorry, golden saint today. I wasn't expecting I that, to be honest with you. Busy. A fella in a blue robe. Look for a blue robed man. Yes, Outlander. You're not a blue robed man. And you're definitely not a blue robed man. He must be in the basement, I guess? Uh... Hello, good friend. You look like a blue robed man. Training. Oh, this is the guy. What? Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here and train conjuration. Now, bear in mind, this is determined by intelligence, right? Uh, it is. And intelligence, we have 86 of. So I'm going to sit here and get us up to 86 conjuration. Ooh, what? We won. Hang on. Uh, can't train a skill. Oh, we're buffing up the one. We're giving it plus 10. So 76, I guess, was our highest one, correct? Conjuration 76. Ah, there you go. Why don't we also see if we'll train us in anything else while we're here as well? Um, it'll do a bit more mysticism for us. Mysticism will come in quite handy, given all the mysticism-related crap we've been doing recently. Okay, so the question is, can we now summon the Golden Saint? I don't believe that we have enough magicka to summon this Golden Saint. Um, let's go and... We do have a Soul Trap spell as well, so if we pull this off, we can actually Soul Trap it and kill it immediately. Um, let's go and rest somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. Uh, just see if we can then summon it. If not... What I'm thinking is we'll put a pause on the uh, temple for now. I think we should go and join the Imperial Legion. Because the Imperial Legion is the one faction at this point that we haven't really touched. We haven't done much with the Imperial Cult. In fact, I don't think we've done anything with the Imperial Cult. Um, but the Legion is the one thing we haven't even remotely interacted with. And there's a couple of places. What though? Oh, it's a dude? The fuck are you? I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Price on my head. What? Who the fuck is this dude? Uh... Be gone? I didn't work. Oh, I used charm. <laughs> this guy loves us, but for some reason he still wants to kill us. My bad. Um, let's drink a couple of potions. I, d I don't know who this guy is. And I don't know why he's aggroed. And I don't want to kill him in case he's important. Chill out. Oh, you bitch. Maybe you miss. Fuck. I'm going, I'm pulling out all the stops with this guy, and I think I'm going to end up regretting it, aren't I? Chill. Who are you? Uh, at your service, I'm in the guild. Oh, he's a thief. So he's a member of the thieves guild. And for whatever reason, wanted to stab us. What? <laughs> that was, oh. Oh, I guess that was a cliff race at this time. That was weird. Um, bottom of the Legion 4. If we're going to join the Legion, this seems like the, the most apt place to do it. Now, bear in mind, there's Fort Moonmoth, is it? By Balmora. That wouldn't be a bad one as well. I'm nice and connected. Although, this one's really not far away from the Silt Strider. Mm, in hindsight, we have a pretty big problem here. Um, we can't join the Legion because almost all of our shit is stolen. And I don't know if there's a way to you clear an item being stolen. I also don't know what of our items are actually stolen. But, I mean... We've got our braces. Our braces, I'm pretty sure, are stolen. Uh, our greaves, I'm pretty sure, are stolen as well. Our greaves are definitely stolen because we stole those from the manor. Um, so we now cannot... Uh, I've got to clear... Okay, clear my bounty, right? Because they'll only speak to you... They'll only take your stolen goods if you've got a bounty. They won't just take them... You know, kind of willy-nilly. Let's go back to Balmora. Pay off our bounty. I don't know where any of the thieves go up, but I know there is one in Balmora. So I'll go back there very quickly. Um, get that paid off. And then we'll come back and see if we can join. Or we'll just join the... I mean, the closest legion to Balmora at that point. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine. I'm just going to rest. Make sure we didn't die. Damn, I thought I'd, thought I'd landed that then. What a pain. What a pain in the ass. I think we've only got it. We've only got a... I mean, our bounty is 10, but they're going to end up taking gear worth hundreds of thousands. And I think the problem is, if I try and steal it back, and we're caught doing it, we'll be, it will count as stealing items worth, like, hundreds of thousands, won't it? So then we'll just be immediately... They'll give us the death penalty. So we need to be very careful about how we approach this. Let's go to the corner club. See if we can pay it off there. And then if we can, we'll, we'll just head to Fort Moonmoth, because that's only, a, a, like, a hop, skip, and a jump over there. Right, you pay off my. Thank you. Pay off my price. Oh, in Balmora, talk to Fane Riel. Uh, Fane Riel. Who the fuck is ah Fane Riel? Ah, Get rid of it. What is it, friend? Uh, five gold. Done. Five gold to allow us to keep all this gear. Thank you, my friend. We are now 
Uh, we're, we're now a free man. Of course. We can do whatever well. we want. We can talk to any guards we want. Head over to Fort Moonmoth, which is somewhere vaguely in this direction. Ah, there it is. Oh, no. <laughs> He's fine. Hello, I'd like to join the Legion, please. <laughs> um, who do we speak to, then? Is it any of them? The Imperial Legion? Uh, okay, who do I speak to, then? Who's the guy in charge? Uh, ironically enough, the guy in charge is the guy with the least armor. He's the man who always without the hat. Let's go in here. Ah, you're the, you're the one in charge. Uh, I would like to join the Imperial Legion. Oh, we're in the Imperial Legion. Oh, no. Blades? Advancement. Oh, there you are. You have to sign up before I can give you a rank, Dark If you want to join, absolutely I do. Concerning this, I can only speak to a friend. We've got to bribe him to join the Legion. Unbelievable. Um, join the Legion. All the garrisons are presently at full strength, except perhaps the Death's Head Legion at Fort Darius in the West Gash near the village of Nisus. Oh, for fuck's hey, sake. Talk. You're a welcome break from the I swear to God. Now we have to run all the way back there. You son of a bitch. Well, we don't. We've got the recall, obviously. Unbelievable. I assume he's talking about this fort here then, huh? Because I can't think of any other forts near Genesis that we've seen. So I'm hoping he's talking about this place. I'm hoping this even is an Imperial Fort, because now I'm looking at it. It seems a bit... Fort Darius, thank God. Um, who was the guy in charge? General... It's all orcs. It's orcs all the way down. What the hell's... Like, a, specifically an orc detachment. Oh my god, it actually is. Sure. Would you like to make a donation of zero? Yes, I would. Thank you. <laughs> um, Do not this is strange. I like it. It's a fun idea, but holy shit. Okay, who was the name of the person then? Oh, I don't remember what he was called. It definitely wasn't an orc name. I remember that much. Downstairs... At the Madak Trade House. Okay, right. Madak Trade House, I assume, is back in town then, huh? Okay. Uh, the barracks. Uh, the Trade House, I assume, is this big center building. Although that might be the temple in hindsight. Um, break into everyone's house here. Madak Trade House. And then downstairs is General Darius. Darius, Darius, Darius. What do you want? You're definitely not General Darius. Uh, wooden door. Hello? You're definitely not G General Darius either. Uh, hello, General Darius? You're not Say General Darius? Words. You must be General Darius. Need time now. Hello? Oh my god, you're frightening. Are you here to join the Imperial Legion? I've been told that. Son, you've got what we need here at the Imperial Legion. Do you want to join or do you want to hear what we're about? Sign me up, sir. You're now recruiting the Imperial Legion. Welcome, Nob Bruntley. You'll have to stay in uniforms to take this chain. Curious. Uh, you better be wearing a Legion Curious as some... Oh, right. Take your orders from me. Fine. See if you're truly loyal to our cause. There's an, a little issue of a landed here in Genesis I need you to take care of. Uh, Mansilamat Vabdus has died in an egg mine. It's survived by his wife who owns a parcel of land we could use for another dock. Talk to the widow and get the deed to the land. Don't take no for an answer. Get her that land deed. Ah, I see. We're Americans. Uh, <laughs> where's my Imperial Curious then? Good. This is, uh, this is reasonable. Okay, we're here to rob a man's widow. Um... Widow to Vabda. Okay, we don't even know what his fucking wife's and called. We're just looking for the widow of Vabda. Uh, is that a there? We are. She lives in a hut outside the village to the west, along the, along the river. Outside the village to the west, along the river. This way, then. This her? Uh, excuse me. Vabda's is her. Excellent. Hello, I am Widow Vabda's. Oh, that's her name, Widow Vabda's. That's convenient. Because now that her husband dies, she's widow, wid widowed, widow Vabdus. That's got to be... Uh, it's not right, is it? Uh, you're in the village of Nisus. There's specific... Okay, no, no, no. I need to talk to you about uh, giving up your fucking land. Land deed. My husband was murdered by a legionnaire, and now you come asking for his land. You will never get his land. I will fight all of you. Uh, until all your foreigners leave us in peace. Now get out of my house. Uh, husband was murdered. Went to the Eggman and never came home. All news the Eggman was closed by foreigners and guarded the, the legions. But we had no fresh Kwama eggs. You want to help me go to the mines and find out the truth? Oh, what is God. This, about? this quest is basically asking us to choose between our people or a foreign legion. Okay, this is, uh, this is a little bit out of my wheelhouse, but sure. Egg mine, egg mine, egg mine. Where's your egg mine, chief? Genesis, Genesis, Genesis. Where's the leg mine? Uh, Genesis egg mine. Okay, yeah, I'm well aware of that. Let's see if she'll give us some proper directions. Uh... Hi, sorry, it's me again. <laughs> sorry, I know I'm here for your land. Uh, where is it? It's on the hill, east side of town. Careful there, the Kwama Queen is blighted. They're in, like, miners in. Ah. Careful that the Kwama Queen has been blighted, so east side of town. Right. 
east side of town this time. I kind of feel bad because she was like incredibly polite there too. We went in. We said, give us your fucking deed for the Imperial Legion. You know, we're, we're taking your husband's legacy away from you. <laughs> and she's like, oh, by the way, up on the east side of town, there's the egg mine. I kind of feel a little bit bad. Hello. Um, I assume that's it up there then. Right, here we are. Let's get up there. Show me what you've got. See how I use levitate and not jump. I'm holding back. Uh, egg mine locked. Is Let me in. Something I can yeah, I'm well aware. I need to go in there, chief. Egg mine. Since you're in the legion, here's the key. Thank you, fella. Right, okay. Let's have a look around then, huh? So we can find. Hello. Uh, you're in an egg mine, Outlander, so careful. Foraders and warriors won't attack miners since they used to ask smell, but they attack intruders and you smell like an intruder. It's very rude. I feel like there's some, some undertones there. Uh, can we say murder? M murder. Widow Vabdus. Lives in her hut. Husband died in the egg mine. It's a shame. That's where we are. You're goddamn right. I can't argue with that. Um, egg mine ledger. Okay. This will head further in. Are we looking for quite, uh, something quite obvious, like a corpse with a, with a legionnaire sword sticking out of its back or something along those lines? I feel like that's a little too on the nose, isn't it? There's nothing down here, right? Okay, can't see anything. Right. Oh, our levitation apparently wore off. Hang on. Let's head this way. See what we can dig up. Uh, hello. You wouldn't know anything about the murder. Nothing. I am never too busy. That's <laughs> so weird, isn't it? You see a stranger walking past at 60 miles an hour. I'm never too busy for a good talk. It's very weird. Yes. How hello. Do How do you do? Why are they all always, always the dark elves in this game are out of breath? Um, brother, why are you, firstly, why are you so short? What the hell's going on there, chief? Uh, secondly, do you know anything about this murder? I feel like I shouldn't be telling him about it. I feel like yes. it'll scare him. Outlander, how do you do? Yes, Outlander, how do you do? I have terrible asthma. Let's go this way, see what we can find. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, stalactite. Not to oh, there's rats everywhere. Disgusting. Get out of here. Um, I'm looking for a murdered corpse. I mean, obviously a murdered corpse. It would have... I mean, sorry, it was a little bit... <laughs> a little bit redundant there, wasn't it? You're not supposed to be in here. If you count to ten... Oh. Sneaky, sneaky time. Ah, I see. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. Fuck. Didn't work. Um, I'm not killing a member of the Legion. That would just get us in trouble. We could charm him. I greet you as a friend. Oh, evidently not. Ever fucking dently not. I greet you as a friend, he says, as he pulls out his friggin' axe. All right, let's get rid of some of these workers. So the queen's blighted. Um, I see. So this guy is like some fucked up. This is all a little bit fucked up, isn't it? So they're using orcs as like their muscles to take whatever Dunmary land they can get their hands on. That's fucked up. I like it. It's, it's a good idea for a plot. Because you kind of expect the Imperials to be the good guys. And in Skyrim it was obviously a little, little hit and miss. In Oblivion it, you can kind of argue they were only the good guys, weren't they? There wasn't much moral grey area there. But Skyrim it was, it was us versus them mentality. And you got to really pick which was the good guys in that one. But I like the idea of the Legion being the ones that are fucking awful. Underground stream. Okay. Uh, shall I kill the Queen? She's blighted after all. Be gone, thought. No blighted queens here. All right, we're good. I've saved the egg mine. <laughs> um, sure, we'll take some large crumb eggs for our troubles. Are well, the eggs like blighted or what's going on with that? Oh, they're all large crumb eggs in here. Oh, nice. Hey, right, okay. Um, big collapsed bridge. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Maybe it was just supposed to kill her and get the land eat and leave. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing the right thing for the people of, of Morrowind, but not, not necessarily the right thing for the Imperial Legion, which was kind of the kind of the point. You know, we wanted to join the Legion and see if we could... Oh, there he is. See if we could get something out of it. Uh, right, his body's at the bottom of a lake, but that doesn't really tell us anything, does it? Uh, we need, we need proof that he was murdered. Like, but how, how, how does that tell us anything? Body's just been dumped in a... Oh! Oh! <gasps> 
His ghost. Do not fear me, Dark Elf. Listen, I will tell you how I was murdered by Lugrub Gro Ogdom. I came to mine to get fresh Kramer eggs for my family. He was sleeping. I snuck past him. When I found enough eggs, I went back the way I came. Only this time, Lugrub was awake. He murdered me so that no one would find that he failed his duty. He dropped the broken axe he used next to my body in the water behind me. Ah. Good man. Good man. Okay. The water behind me. Uh, there it is. Lug Grub's axe. We've done a good thing here. I think. I hope. I don't know. I don't know who I'm going to piss off by doing this quest, to be honest with you. I mean, everybody, given that I killed the queen. <laughs> That's something to worry about. That's something to worry about later day, huh? Not my, not my problem at all. I mean, Ganesis is a dump anyway, so I don't think anyone's really going to lose. Fucking hell, these rats. Anyone's going to lose too much sleep over that. Where are we? Go the wrong way. What the fuck? Dwemer? Okay, I think I've gone the wrong way. I'm taking that, though. Dwemer airship. Divine metaphysics. We needed that for a quest, did we not? Oh, fantastic. Uh, I'll take your Dwemer tube as well. Oh. Dwemer ruins, you say. Proper Dwemer ruins by the looks of it. This is nice. Uh, okay, let's have a look around, then. Wasn't expecting to find this, to be honest with you. You're dead? Very dead. Oh, that's it. Just a copy of Divine Metaphysics. Well, we needed that, so I'm not going to complain at all. Run before the miners catch on. <laughs> never stop. Never turn around. So... So I guess we just go back to the Widow now and we say, yeah, we found it. And then we go back to the Legion Commander and say, yeah, I, uh, I actually uncovered the truth that you had her husband murdered. Um, I, unless he's... Maybe he's not in that. Maybe I'm trying to find villains where there are none. Maybe he's an honorable man who just wants that land deed. Uh... You know, he might just be following orders here. And when he hears about what actually happened, he might be extremely sympathetic and apologize. I don't know. Here we are. Um, by the way, I found out about your husband's murder. Um, take proof to Darius. I do. Are you not interested? You don't care? <laughs> no, I don't care about how he died. It's just, you need to get the Legion off my back. She wants to rake in those millions. My man, Darius. Do I have a gift for you? Here you are, fella. Uh, Landed. You have the land deed. Uh, man, someone at Vabdus was murdered. I have proof. I spoke with the ghost. I don't care if you saw the ghost of Tiber Septon. I can't tell the Legion officers in Cyrodiil. I condemned a soldier to death because you talked to a ghost. Um, I have the axe. Proof. Here is Love Grub's axe. I can see how it's been damaged from hitting bone here and here. With this, I have no choice but believe your story. He's an outlaw. Find him, kill him. Uh, I've killed him. You killed him. Good. Now that she'll be avenged and justice has been served. It turns out he was the good guy. I did judge him too harshly. He ju he was just about justice. Wow. I'm I'm legitimately surprised. I thought they were going to do Imperial Legion bad. They're trying to take land from good, hardworking, done married people. It turns out that it was a bit more nuanced than that. Crazy. Who'd have thought an Elder Scrolls game would have nuance rather than just Nord racist Imperial bad? Crazy. Uh, you've proven yourself so far. Perhaps you can help with the egg mine. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you're going to ask me to, you're going to ask me to go in there, aren't you? And cure the blight. Uh, the common queen is dead. You'll either die from blight so quickly. What will the town do now? Oh no. The journal has been updated. Moving on. More duties, please, fella. <laughs> oh, you're a good soldier. I'll give you the rank of spearman. Okay. Um, I just want to, I need a spearman to find... Madura Seran, who is missing. She's got a report from Al Valothi. Wow. Why are you away from your post? Shut up. Um, I might have fucked up that quest there by killing the queen, but I thought I was doing them a favor. In hindsight, didn't really make much sense to me killing them when we had a spell that could quite literally cure blight, you fool. Well, that's ticked off my war crimes quota for today. We've brought uh, a, a, a town crashing to its knees. Brilliant.